Chancellor Sullivan, President Sullivan, platform personnel, distinguished faculty, honorable guests. My name is Dr. Jay Marr, Chief Executive Officer for Sullivan University, and it is my pleasure and my honor to present to you the 215th Sullivan University graduating class that completed their programs in December of 2016 and the 216th Sullivan University graduating class that completed their programs in March of 2017. As the graduates enter the auditorium today, the provost and dean of students will stand before us to ceremoniously receive each graduate and affirm their readiness to enter the ranks throughout the world who have preceded them. As each level enters the auditorium, they will be led by a distinguished academic leader from the university who will prominently display a banner of designation. Today's graduates will be led first by our Doctor of Philosophy graduate, followed by our Master's graduates, followed by our Baccalaureate graduates, then Associate, Diploma, and Certificate graduates. I now invite the Provost of the University to the podium to formally summon the graduating class. The university mace, which is cradled in front of the podium, is an ancient symbol of authority. It reminds us that universities are custodians of both the enduring traditions of learning and of the power they bestow upon those who come to learn. Distinguished academic leaders of the university, I authorize you to bring forth the 215th and 216th graduating classes of Sullivan University. Let these commencement proceedings begin.
Good morning. As I mentioned earlier, I'm Dr. Jay Marr, Chief Executive Officer for Sullivan University. And on behalf of the faculty, staff, and students at Sullivan University, it is my pleasure to welcome you, our graduates, your parents, spouses, and friends, to the 2017 Spring Commencement Ceremony of Sullivan University. Right now, would you please join me in thanking Ms. Jill Lucas, who is providing the beautiful music for graduation. Now I have just a few announcements before we begin our program. For those of you with small children, we ask that you please be sensitive to the importance of this ceremony to the graduates and their family. While we certainly welcome everyone to this event, if your child should become fussy, please take him or her out of the auditorium. In the rear of the auditorium and on each side of the sanctuary, accessible from the hallway, are two soundproof cry rooms. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. These rooms have glass so you can see the ceremony and audio so you can hear the ceremony, but we can't hear you. For those of you who wish to take photographs of your graduate, we ask that you wait in your seat until your graduate's name is about to be called. Then return to your seat so others may also take photographs. Please note there is a professional photographer here today taking pictures, and there is information in the program on how you may order pictures of your graduate receiving their diploma, certificate, or degree. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a celebration. We do ask, however, that you use proper discretion in expressing your excitement for your graduate. We ask that you hold your applause until all certificates, diplomas, and degrees have been awarded. We have many graduates who could not be with us today as they are working in other parts of the country and indeed other parts of the world. Many have sent their best wishes to their fellow graduates and we miss them and we wish them well. Many are joining us from around the world this morning through an internet streaming of today's ceremony and we welcome our domestic and international family and friends. Now it is my pleasure to introduce to you the Chancellor of Sullivan University. Chancellor A.R. Sullivan, along with his father, founded Sullivan University in 1962. Chancellor Sullivan has had a distinguished career in higher education, and his list of accomplishments are many, of which I will share only a few with you this morning. Chancellor Sullivan has spent over 55 years in higher education. He has served in almost every leadership role in state, regional, and national educational organizations and associations. Chancellor Sullivan has served as a member of the Board of Directors of the prestigious American Council on Education, whose membership includes the presidents of such institutions as Notre Dame and Harvard. Chancellor Sullivan is the only career-focused university chancellor to be elected to serve on the board of this prestigious institution. He has served as chairman of the board of the 1,300-member Association of Independent Colleges and Schools. He was also chairman of its accrediting commission. He has served on numerous other commissions, including the National Commission on Higher Education and the Adult Learner. He has led Sullivan University from 1979 to become the first career-focused college or university in the South to receive accreditation from the prestigious Southern Association of Colleges and Schools Commission on Colleges. He followed that accomplishment in 1990 by taking Sullivan University to accreditation as a baccalaureate degree granting institution. In 1996, Sullivan University became the first private career-focused college or university in the South to receive full accreditation to award the master's degree from the Southern Association. And the university opened its graduate school in January of 1997. The university has since received accreditation to offer both a doctorate of pharmacy and a doctor of philosophy or PhD in management with nearly 400 doctoral students enrolled in 2017. The Southern Association of Colleges and Schools Commission on Colleges accredits other such institutions as Vanderbilt, the University of Kentucky, the University of Tennessee, the University of Louisville, Duke, and many, many other fine institutions in the southern region of the United States. Chancellor Sullivan has led this institution through numerous growth stages with campuses located in Lexington and Fort Knox, a center for learning in Louisa, Kentucky, as well as one in northern Kentucky in Fort Mitchell. And we have students attending from some 43 states and 50 foreign countries. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor and indeed my pleasure 
to introduce to you this morning the founder of Sullivan University, its chancellor, and my distinguished colleague, Chancellor A.R. Sullivan. I've got a helper. This is a very emotional moment for me. Um, on February 6th, I had open heart surgery with two bypasses and a stent inserted. About the same time, back in November, my wife had a heart attack and died. But I knew how to do CPR, and for 20 minutes I did CPR on her until the emergency people got there and resuscitated her back to life, and she's sitting here this morning. <clears throat> so one never knows what happens to you in life and how much you appreciate living until you've been close to death. I've never missed a Sullivan graduation, and by damn, I wasn't gonna miss the one this morning. <laughs> <clears throat> On top of that, after recovering from my open heart surgery, I decided to spend the last part of it recuperating in Florida, laying out in the sun and getting a tan every place except where this long cut goes down the center of my chest, which I figured I would cover with a wide band-aid or two. On the way down, I had a heart issue, and we landed. I ended up in the emergency room in Florida for three days. They never did figure out what happened other than my wound hadn't healed enough to be allowed to fly, and my cardiologist, bless his heart, uh, admitted that he made a mistake in agreeing to let me fly too soon. I'm sure he'll never make that error again. Uh, so you never know the things that get you through life, and to these graduates today and to everyone here, live your life to the fullest, take advantage of every opportunity, love your loved ones, do good work where you work. Put in the best you can at everything you do. You never know when the good Lord will call you, and you might not as be as lucky as both my wife and I were to be here today. Um, they had a trach down my throat, and since then my voice has sounded like it's some strange thing. Uh, it sounds like I've got a sore throat, but I really don't. But it disrupted my vocal cords some. Um, so, it, uh, it's with a great amount of emotion that I'm with you today. Normally, I will pass out and shake hands with everyone getting a certificate, diploma, or degree. President Sullivan, who's the third generation of the Sullivan family to lead this institution, will do the honors today. I'm going to stay seated behind here, but I would like for every graduate to cross the stage to take a moment and shake my hand, because it's always been my pleasure to shake the hand of every graduate who's ever graduated from Sullivan University. I hope I have many more years to have that privilege. For those of you that are already out in the world of work, do good. Make every moment count. You never know how long you have on this earth. Those, those who are just graduating, good luck in your job search. Find something that's meaningful to you. Do the best you can. Make some good income for you and your family. Come back and show us your success as we have graduates who return to us at all times who are way more successful than they ever showed they could be when they were in school. Uh, I think they say, see what I've done? I know I was a goof off when I was attending, and we only have one or two of you that are sort of minor goof offs or you wouldn't be here today. 
you know who you are. And for those that couldn't be with us today who are watching online around the world, we miss you. You're missing a great ceremony, but you're not missing a rainy day in Kentucky. For all the families and friends that came out in the rain today, thank you for coming to honor your family and friends. I'd like to introduce uh, David Keene, who's going to introduce our platform personnel. It's my pleasure to introduce to you, beginning on my right, the audience is left, Dr. Diane Lawrence, Provost of the University. Ms. Barbara Dean, Executive Director of the Fort Knox Campus. Dr. J. Marr, Chief Executive Officer. President Glenn Sullivan. Dr. Kimberly Castle, our commencement speaker. And she will be more formally introduced later in the program. You've already met Chancellor A.R. Sullivan. Dr. Tim Swenson, Associate Provost and Dean of the Graduate School. Dr. Lavina Wilkin, Director of the PhD program. And our next platform person actually sat where you graduates sat 50 years ago this spring. He's an alumni of Sullivan University, Mr. James Klein, University Ombudsman. <laughs> Ms. Kim Wells Mitchell, University Registrar. I'd also like to introduce our next presenter, John Foster, who will provide the greeting from the faculty. Good morning. On behalf of the faculty of Sullivan University, including those seated to the right and left of me on the stage, and our colleagues teaching Saturday classes throughout the Sullivan University system, I welcome you, welcome you all to Sullivan University's 2017 Spring Graduation Ceremony. Education is often compared to a journey of discovery for each individual student, and in conventional ways it is. But we as a faculty want you to consider that the journey should never end. We offer our continued companionship so that your steps forward are not solitary. We also ask that you reach back and extend the same companionship to the next in line. As a Sullivan University graduate, you must never stop teaching, mentoring, and learning. It is what we do as a faculty and what we try to instill in you. Take this challenge. Continue your journey. Boldly make your mark in the world. Thank you and congratulations. Good morning, graduates. You guys ready? You all ready to graduate, I hope? I just want to keep my remarks really short. Family members, friends, just this weekend, maybe just today, treat your graduate like they are made of solid gold, dipped in diamonds. These are people of great worth. You are all people of great worth, and I hope you're really proud of yourselves. You've invested your heart, your time, your money, in yourselves. And as others have said, it's time to go out and continue to make your mark on the world and show everybody you have what it takes. 
and you're bringing it. And we're all really, really proud of you all. I don't want to, like you said, we'll get emotional. We're really proud of you all. Our speaker today, Dr. Kimberly Castle, uh, you can read her bio in the program, so I won't belabor that. Really fine, special person who's doing much needed work. And I hope you all will take the time to listen to her important message. Thank you. Hello, everybody. The view up here is awesome, I have to tell you. I've been out there, but I had never been up here. This is fantastic. It is an honor to be here today speaking to you as your spring 2017 commencement speaker. Thank you, Chancellor Sullivan, President Sullivan, distinguished faculty, friends, family, and most especially graduates. When I was first asked to be your speaker, I accepted with pleasure and then some panic set in. I began to wonder what I could offer and if my accomplishments were worthy of such an honor. I decided to approach it as any good scholar practitioner would, and I began to research. But what exactly should I research? I read other speeches, I watched a few, and it quickly became clear that this job is the most important to you, the graduates. Lots of speakers discuss their accomplishments. Others discuss one aspect of their career, and more discuss words of wisdom, but after careful soul searching, I decided to do what my research and my gut told me to do. I will dig deep within, search my heart, and I'm gonna to speak to you from my heart in order to try and do this great class of yours justice. I may tell a story or two, I may make you laugh, but I hope I give you food for thought from my heart to yours about my journey. I came to Sullivan University in 2005 after seeing a billboard in Lexington, Kentucky that advertised an MBA program while you keep your job. I was earning $12 an hour, and at that point in my life, I was a single mother with four children. One was in college, one was in high school, and two were not in school yet. In fact, my youngest was only two and a half years old. My husband had just died of lung cancer, and I could not pay my gas bill. So giving up my day job was just not an option. I had electric space heaters setting around my home to heat it, and I was overwhelmed, to say the least. I did not imagine that I could afford a graduate's education, but somehow I knew I had to. I called a number, and I got connected to Marika at the Lexington campus, and we set up a meeting. I rolled in with two children in a stroller, <laughs> and she explained to me how the program worked. I shared my story with her, and we both cried in that tiny room, and I enrolled that day. My life would be forever changed. Education does that. Along the way, I had several mentors. Dr. Ken Miller, Dr. Tony Belak, Dr. Lavina Wilkins, and countless others that have impacted this great university. As I learned, I grew in ways that were unexpected. My work ethic had always been good, but my new quest for knowledge was like nothing I had ever experienced. With each degree and the knowledge that comes with it, I was able to quickly leave that hourly job behind, find a salaried job, and eventually open my own corporation. And through all of that, I took my life back. I remarried again, nine years ago, a wonderful man who's with me today along with our youngest son who's now 14. Jeff became a father to my two youngest children. And while all of that learning was happening, life got real good when we blended our families. Now that is no coincidence either because I believe sometimes good things happen when we're not looking. We must, however, be ready for the good things so we can let them in. Each morning after I enrolled in graduate school, I got up early, no matter how late I had crawled into bed after studying till the wee hours. The first thing I would do is put the stereo on and play a song, Ain't No Mountain High Enough by Michael McDonald. 
the kids would come out of their rooms and we would dance in the living room to the beat. We would sing at the top of our lungs and begin each day with a smile. Then we got dressed and we headed to work in school. This was our routine for over three years. Why does that matter? It matters because it gives us hope and memories. You see, while you're on the journey, there may be expectations placed on you by loved ones and obligations that you have placed on yourselves. What I learned in my journey is that the life we build outside of the work is what matters the most. I recall in the eighth grade when I learned about life's blessings from Mother Goose. Don't laugh. <laughs> there was a May festival each year in West Virginia where I grew up at my school. I was excited this particular year because it was my eighth grade class and it was the eighth grade class that chose the May Queen. Only the eighth grade class voted for her and naturally, it wasn't a real big school, I had hoped to be the top honor that year. The day of the vote came and I was runner up. I was so upset privately. Of course, I told no one except my mother and my grandmother, but it was hurtful. And just when I thought it couldn't get worse, it did, or so I thought. I got asked to be the host for the May Festival that year. I had to emcee the entire thing, and they said it was because I was runner-up and had lost by a mere one vote. The MC would introduce each class from kindergarten through eighth grade with their nursery rhyme theme. The only catch was I had to dress as and portray Mother Goose. After a lengthy discussion with my mother and the fact that she told me how it would look if I didn't, well, you get the idea, I guessed I was playing Mother Goose. The funny thing about that though, it was tons of fun. I got to help the young kids in the younger grades. I learned how to laugh at myself. I got to miss a lot of class. <laughs> and all the while, I got to portray this really fun character. And when it was all said and done, I made the front page of the local paper, not the May Queen, me, or rather Mother Goose. Blessings have a way of sneaking up on us when we least expect them. Being on the front page with glowing reviews was lots of fun, but that wasn't the best part. The best part was the feeling inside of me as the kids at the school, the younger kids, had turned to me for guidance and questions in the process every day at practice. It was the process that made me the winner that day. It's the same with life. A few years ago, my husband planted a small garden and I went out to pull weeds, check on cucumbers that were blooming. I kicked off my shoes and he found me up to my ankles in dirt and smiling. He asked me why I had my shoes off and I told him that my grandmother said it's how you do it. My sister and I had gone to live with my grandparents when my father passed away when I was two years old. We helped her in the garden every warm day, and we always took our shoes off because she said to. Now, I guess I hadn't worked in a garden in a few years, but the shoes off thing, that was a natural event to me. It caused me to wonder, what did my grandmother mean though? So I called my mother, and I asked her, why do we take our shoes off to work in the garden? She didn't miss a beat, and she told me we didn't have old shoes. So grandma was just saving our shoes. I was a bit disappointed that it didn't make the plants grow better because we pulled weeds in the bare feet. But I remember thinking how brilliant my grandmother was to have us believe that we were doing something special rather than just unable to afford new shoes. I'm glad she taught me to be confident doing my own thing rather than in any way make me feel inferior it is that independence that has shaped my path to you here today. Be proud of who you are and the choices you have made. And when you look ahead, don't be afraid to go barefoot in the dark, in the dirt, even when you can afford the new shoes. I would like to close with a little tidbit from my life to yours. My grandmother was a very tiny woman and she used to have to sit on Sears and Roebuck catalogs to drive and see over the steering wheel. 
she would scoot the seat all the way forward so she could reach the gas pedal too. You get the idea. She sold Avon and she went house to house in a community near Grafton, West Virginia, where we lived. My sister and I weren't in school yet, so we would often go along with her. Hazel Goodwin raised and sold chickens too. So it was not unusual for her to have a box with all kinds of deliveries to make in that neighborhood. At each stop, she would drop off a box and she would tuck a few dollars in her shirt and head on down the road. If she made 10 stops, she told my grandfather she made five. It was only when I was older that I realized she kept some of those dollars for herself so she could make a donation at her church, pay her dues at a ladies group, and then have an emergency fund to buy supplies for her next deliveries. She was an entrepreneur before I ever knew what one was. Watching her taught me to be innovative, to be kind, and to work until the job is done, and that the customer is always right. Those lessons have stuck with me, and they serve me well today. My education here at Sullivan University cemented those rules, and of course explained them more scientifically, why those lessons mattered. But when I graduated, it was up to me to find my way and apply those tools in ways that worked for me. As you graduate today, think about the tools you now have and reminisce about the lessons you have learned along life's way. It is up to you to tie them all together in a way that works for all of you. The articles we get published, the books that we work on and publish, the goals we accomplish, and the outcomes we produce won't matter at the end of the day if we forget to make memories, if we forget to make a life, or we forget to dance with our children or our loved ones. As I was researching and thinking about what to share, I realized that any accomplish I might have made in my career seemed like I've worked hard. But the lessons I long learned along the way are the inspiration I needed to push me at each level. Someone once told me I have tenacity. We should all have a bit of tenacity. It is that will to win, that will to do, and that will to succeed that kept me from quitting many, many times. It was me who couldn't pay the gas bill. It was me who made life harder by choices sometimes, but it was me who owned it. And at the end of the day, it was me who had to make it. For others depended solely upon me. And just like that mother goose who guided small children in the May Festival, it was also me who was not afraid to go barefoot in my garden who danced in my living room with children each morning, and it was the tenacity from within that told me I could. I wish for each graduate in this room to be your own cheerleader, go barefoot in the dirt, and dance unashamed with your loved ones. Because while it is the education you receive at this great institution that will give you the jump start on your careers, only you can reach deep inside and build a life. Work and life go hand in hand. And we all need both if we are to be the best that we can be. Thank you for allowing me to reminisce with you today. And may God bless you all as you embark on this great journey called life. Thank you, Dr. Castle. And this is where I attempt to get the biggest applause of the day. But I'm here to let you know that Dr. Castle is the last speaker of the day. Before the graduates come forward, I'd like to mention again that we encourage picture taking and that those family members and friends with cameras 
may come to the front to capture this special moment. We only ask that you wait to come forward until your graduate nears the front, and after you've taken the pictures of your loved one, if you'll move quickly back to your seat so that others may also capture this special moment. You'll notice on the commencement program that many of the graduates have one, two, or three asterisks listed in front of their name. One asterisk represents cum laude graduates, two asterisks represent magna cum laude graduates, and three asterisks represent summa cum laude graduates. Cum in Latin means with, and laude in Latin means praise, so cum laude means with praise, and this distinction is given to those graduates with a grade point average of a 3.30 to 3.59. Magna in Latin means great, so magna cum laude means with great praise for those graduates with a 3.60 to 3.79 grade point average. And the word summa in Latin means highest, so summa cum laude means with highest praise for those graduates with a 3.80 to a 4.0 grade point average. Also listed in the program are those graduates who are recipients of the President's Award. Recipients of the President's Award for Academic Achievement must have maintained at least a 3.70 grade point average on a 4.0 scale for their accumulated work at Sullivan University. These graduates have attained that academic achievement. If you will, again, please hold your applause until all the graduates have received their certificates, diplomas, and degrees. You're on. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll begin with our certificate and diploma graduates. Amy Jo Anderson, post baccalaureate certificate in paralegal studies, summa cum laude. President Sullivan, hold her up a second. Hold. These certificate and diploma graduates are also recipients of the President's Cup. No? Not certificates, okay. That would be a no. <laughs> Kathleen Elizabeth Clark, post-baccalaureate certificate in paralegal studies, summa cum laude. Delnisha J. Crosby, Medical Coding Diploma, Cum Laude. Georgia L. Hampton, Post Baccalaureate Certificate in Paralegal Studies, Summa Cum Laude. Courtney May Henry, Medical Coding Diploma, Cum Laude. Megan A. Jones, Post Baccalaureate Certificate in Paralegal Studies, Summa Cum Laude. Regina Jones, Conflict Management Certificate, Summa Cum Laude. Regina Lucas, Tourism Specialist Diploma. Is it Laquita? Laquita. Laquita. 
Laquita M. Pinckney, personal and private chef diploma. Nevin Abney, Associate, Associate of Science and in Computer Information Technology, cum laude. And these are our Associate Degree graduates, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Gabrielle Caitlin Age, Associate of Science, Business Management. Amber Dawn Anthony, Associate of Science, Marketing and Sales Management, cum laude. Brandon Michael Ashpaul, Associate of Science and Culinary Arts. Tina Atkinson, Associate of Science, Culinary Arts, cum laude. Georgia Marie Barrett, Associate of Science in Baking and Pastry Arts. <laughs> Julio Leninier Barroso, Associate of Science in Accounting Magna Cum Laude. Alan Sanders Bedford, Associate of Science in Hotel Restaurant Management. Ashley Elizabeth Bell, Associate of Science in Baking and Pastry Arts. Alexandra Elizabeth Bennett, Associate of Science in Culinary Arts. Emily Morgan Black, Associate of Science in Baking and Pastry Arts. Heidi L. Brewer, Associate of Science in Medical Assisting. Whitney Nikema Brown, Associate of Science in Information Technology. Alicia Brian Carter, Associate of Science and Business Management, Magna Cum Laude. Whitney Nicole Chittum, Associate of Science and Culinary Arts, Magna Cum Laude. Melanie Clay, Associate of Science and Accounting. Elisa G. Creech, Associate of Science in Culinary Arts. Kelly R. Dalton, Associate of Science in Health Information Management. Brianna Alexandria Dawson, Associate of Science in Culinary Arts. Dorcas C. Demby, Associate of Science and Medical Office Management, Magna Cum Laude. Desmond Eugene Dickerson, Associate of Science in Marketing and Sales Management. Dionica Shanae Fields, Associate of Science and Medical Office Management. Stephen Clay Franchere, Associate of Science and in Computer Information Technology, Magna Cum Laude. Isabella Gardner, Associate of Science in Baking and Pastry Arts.
Lisa Davis Girton, Associate of Science in Early Childhood Education. Aaron Duncan Gilbert, Associate of Science in Culinary Arts. Samantha N. Glansman, Associate of Science in Hotel Restaurant Management. Gregory Thomas Goebel, Associate of Science in Culinary Arts. Christopher Brent Griffin, Associate of Science in Computer Information Technology, cum laude. Richard Andre Harris, Associate of Science in Culinary Arts. Taylor Hartwell, Associate of Science in Culinary Arts. Jason Head, Associate of Science in Culinary Arts. Michaela Caitlin Hyder, Associate of Science in Culinary Arts. Dalen LaVon Houston, Associate of Science in Business Management. Rasha Hussein, Associate of Science in Medical Office Management. Donald Hyacinth, Associate of Science in Information Technology. Kimberly Tahira Johnson, Associate of Science in Early Childhood Education. Robert Gabriel Johnson, Associate of Science in Culinary Arts, magna cum laude. Michael A. Jones, Associate of Science in Culinary Arts. Lindsay M. Justice, Associate of Science in Business Management. Presenting Lindsay's degree today is her father, David Wheatley, chef instructor at the Sullivan University Louisville campus. Brittany Nicole Kaminsky, Associate of Science in Culinary Arts. Heather Honey Canavy, Associate of Science in Information Technology. Amina Karat, Associate of Science in Business Management. Ryan Kellogg, Associate of Science in Culinary Arts. Jenna Renee Kidwell, Associate of Science in Early Childhood Education, cum laude. Kelsey Marie Kaiser, Associate of Science in Baking and Pastry Arts. Caroline Labica, Associate of Science in Baking Pastry Arts, cum laude.
Gracie H. Lee, Associate of Science and Hotel Restaurant Management. Joyce Y. Lee, Associate of Science in Baking and Pastry Arts, Cum Laude. Shanice Najay Lee, Associate of Science in Health Information Management. Matthew Lemon, Associate of Science in Culinary Arts. Jacob N. Lewis, Associate of Science in Culinary Arts. <laughs> Kevin Joe Lewis, Jr., Associate of Science in Culinary Arts. Andrea Marie Mason, Associate of Science in Event Management and Tourism Magna Cum Laude. <laughs> Tiffany Mattingly, Associate of Science in Paralegal Studies, Cum Laude. Presley McCain, Associate of Science in Medical Office Management, Cum Laude. Diamond Knock McLean, Associate of Science in Information Technology, Cum Laude. Cabria Charnice McRae, Associate of Science in Culinary Arts. Jolene McCrossan, Associate of Science in Baking and Pastry Arts. Jalisa McPherson, Associate of Science in Medical Assisting. Taylor Micha, Associate of Science and Justice and Public Safety Administration, Cum Laude. Presenting Taylor's degree today is her mother, Michelle Thompson, who is a refunds manager at Sullivan University System. Samantha Lynn Meek, Associate of Science in Culinary Arts. <laughs> Chastity S. Owens, Associate of Science in Culinary Arts, Cum Laude. Lexel Joel Padilla, Associate of Science in Culinary Arts. Jessica Renee Morgan, Associate of Science in Business Management. Alexis Nicole Murphy, Associate of Science in Culinary Arts. Jessica Myers, Associate of Science in Paralegal Studies. Linda D. Nelson, Associate of Science in Business Management.
Jeffrey Neumeyer, Associate of Science and Culinary Arts, Cum Laude. Alan V. Newcomb, Associate of Science in Culinary Arts. Ladies and gentlemen, Sullivan University awards a full scholarship created by Chancellor Sullivan to a graduate of the Salvation Army Center of Hope Culinary Training Program. Alan Newcomb was selected as a recipient of that scholarship after going through a rigorous selection process and now has earned his associate degree in culinary arts. Presenting Alan his degree today is Chef Sam Mudd, who was instrumental in the, in, in the initial coordination of this scholarship program. Tina Poff, Associate of Science in Culinary Arts. Shavanda Janae Powell, Associate of Science in Early Childhood Education. Shakira Atia Nashema <laughs> Presley, <laughs> Associate of Science in Culinary Arts. <laughs> Shauna Price Johnson, Associate of Science in Medical Assisting. Nicole Rector Finney, Associate of Science in Baking and Pastry Arts, Cum Laude. <laughs> Stephanie Rodriguez, Associate of Science in Baking and Pastry Arts. Daniel Timothy Rothwell, Associate of Science in Culinary Arts. <laughs> Destiny Alexis Monique Roundtree, Associate of Science in Baking and Pastry Arts. Mohammed Sajaja, Associate of Science in Culinary Arts. Christine Petrina Scott, Associate of Science in Baking and Pastry Arts. Zaria Nicole Scott, Associate of Science in Culinary Arts. Jordan Sexy, Associate of Science in Early Childhood Education. No, I wish. <laughs> Don't make me laugh now. Ashley Grace Schaefer, Associate of Science in Event Management and Tourism. Just forget I came. No, I'm kidding. Linda M. Shank, Associate of Science in Paralegal Studies. Miara Courtney Simpson, Associate of Science in Culinary Arts, Cum Laude. Smith. 
Heather C. Smith, Associate of Science and Administrative Office Management. Amber J. Smith Davis, Associate of Science in Event Management and Tourism, Cum Laude. Emily Sine Spradley, Associate of Science in Justice and Public Safety Administration. Joshua Michael Todd, Associate of Science in Culinary Arts. Taylor Page Turris, Associate of Science in Baking and Pastry Arts. Jacob Cody Unsold, Associate of Science in Culinary Arts. Raul Vasist, Associate of Science in Culinary Arts, Cum Laude. Javon Ramel Valentine, Associate of Science in Culinary Arts. Ryan L. Vidito, Associate of Science in Justice and Public Safety Administration. David Vaznuk, Associate of Science in Culinary Arts, Cum Laude. Heather Walsh, Associate of Science in Baking and Pastry Arts. Austin James Watkins, Associate of Science in Culinary Arts. Michaela Jade Wheeler, Associate of Science in Baking and Pastry Arts. Kimberly Willis, Associate of Science in Culinary Arts, Cum Laude. Catherine Jo Willoughby, Associate of Science in Culinary Arts. Thomas Woolhams, Associate of Science in Culinary Arts. Adam Israel, Associate of Science in Culinary Arts, Cum Laude. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the following associate degree graduates are also recipients of the President's Award. Mary Jane Elizabeth Armstrong, Associate of Science in Culinary Arts, Magna Cum Laude. Jeremy Dean Barker, Associate of Science in Culinary Arts, Summa Cum Laude. Stephanie Catherine Bonack, Associate of Science in Culinary Arts, Magna Cum Laude. <laughs> Shayla Patrice Clark, Associate of Science in Culinary Arts, Summa Cum Laude. Is <laughs> it Amelia Renee Cottrell, Associate of Science in Baking and Pastry Arts, Summa Cum Laude. Kelsey G. Darland, Associate of Science in Early Childhood Education, Magna Cum Laude.
Bonnie Hankins, Associate of Science and Business Management, summa cum laude. Ricky John Hill, Associate of Science and Justice and Public Safety Administration, summa cum laude. Deborah Ingabir Mikabani, Associate of Science and Information Technology, summa cum laude. Emily Ann Kearns, Associate of Science and Paralegal Studies, summa cum laude. Christy Lynn McCoy, Associate of Science and Hotel Restaurant Management, magna cum laude. Josh J. McFeeders, Associate of Science and Culinary Arts, magna cum laude. Rachel Nicole Nethery, Associate of Science in Event Management and Tourism, magna cum laude. Karen Nemec, Associate of Science in Paralegal Studies, summa cum laude. Haley Ransweiler, Associate of Science in Culinary Arts, magna cum laude. Abigail Richenberg, Associate of Science and Culinary Arts, magna cum laude. Julia M. Ritchie, Associate of Science, Event Management and Tourism, summa cum laude. Caitlin Elizabeth Rowe, Associate of Science in Baking Pastry Arts, summa cum laude. Jacqueline N. Rucker, Associate of Science and Business Management, summa cum laude. Judith Sanchez, Associate of Science and Paralegal Studies, magna cum laude. Sarah Schiller, Associate of Science in Baking and Pastry Arts, magna cum laude. Sarah Catherine Settles, Associate of Science in Culinary Arts, magna cum laude. Maddie Nicolette Smizer, Associate of Science in Accounting, summa cum laude. <laughs> Heather Madison Stiltner, Associate of Science in Baking and Pastry Arts, magna cum laude. Kendall Troutman, Associate of Science in Baking and Pastry Arts, summa cum laude. <laughs> Jessica Waked Diaz, Associate of Science in Baking and Pastry Arts, summa cum laude. Mandy Yvonne Waters, Associate of Science in Marketing and Sales Management, magna cum laude. Now, ladies and gentlemen, our Bachelor of Science graduates. Sarah Nicole Allen, Bachelor of Science, Business Administration Management, Bachelor of Science, Business Administration Marketing, magna cum laude. Mar 
Melissa S. Armstrong, Bachelor of Science in Hospitality Management, cum laude. Melissa is an instructor at the Sullivan University Lexington campus. Renee Lee Avalone, Bachelor of Science in Accounting. Jason Wayne Barber, Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Supply Chain Management, cum laude. Amanda D. Bertram, Bachelor of Science, Business Administration, Finance. Christopher J. Blunt, Bachelor of Science in Information Technology. <laughs> Carl Borns, Bachelor of Science in Information Technology, cum laude. Kenesia Lachelle Boyd, Bachelor of Science in Business Administration Management. Heather Lachey Brooks, Bachelor of Science in Interdisciplinary Business Studies, Accounting and Management. Brooke Renee Brown, Bachelor of Science in Ethelina Daniel, Bachelor of Science in Accounting, Magna Cum Laude. Demetra Renee DeVore, Bachelor of Science in Nursing, Cum Laude. Tina L. Holtzclaw Frederick, Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Healthcare Management, Cum Laude. Tina is office administrator at the Sullivan University College of Pharmacy. Brianka Betty Josephine Gill, Bachelor of Science in Human Resource Leadership. Alfredo Granado, Bachelor of Science in Information Technology. Lori Lee Hibbard, Bachelor of Science, Business Administration, Management, Magna Cum Laude. Whitney Blake Hipschman, Bachelor of Science in Accounting, Cum Laude. Thomas Kendricks, Bachelor of Science in Justice and Public Safety Administration. <laughs> William Hunt Sr., Bachelor of Science in Justice and Public Safety Administration. Lakeisha LaPrade, Bachelor of Science in Human Resource Leadership. <laughs> Tiffany Nicole Mayhew, Bachelor of Science in Accounting. Jonathan McKinney, Bachelor of Science, Business Administration, Management, Cum Laude. Ricky R. McQuistian, Bachelor of Science and Business Administration, Supply Chain Management. Lynn 
Lauren Miller, Bachelor of Science in Nursing, magna cum laude. Alexander Shively Perry, Bachelor of Science in Hospital Hospitality Management, cum laude. Linda Marie Piper, Bachelor of Science in Accounting, cum laude. Ryan Matthew Powell, Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Computer Systems. Tricia Robertson, Bachelor of Science in Interdisciplinary Business Studies, Marketing and Supply Chain Management, magna cum laude. Christopher D. Shannon, Bachelor of Science, Business Administration, Healthcare Management, magna cum laude. Kelly M. Skies, Bachelor of Science in Information Technology. Jessica Lynn Taylor, Bachelor of Science, Business Administration, Management. Laura A. Davis Taylor, Bachelor of Science in Interdisciplinary Business Studies, Healthcare Management and Management. Zachary D. Teisman, Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Marketing, magna cum laude. Jennifer Tillery, Bachelor of Science in Accounting. Sergey Suprek, Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Healthcare Management. Sharon Vinces, Bachelor of Science in Accounting. Mario Webster, Bachelor of Science in Interdisciplinary Business Studies, Human Resource Leadership and Management. Marcus D. Woods, Bachelor of Science in Information Technology, cum laude. Eliza Zell, Bachelor of Science, Bachelor of Science, Business Administration Management, and also Bachelor of Science, Business Administration, Supply Chain Management, cum laude. Now, ladies and gentlemen, our bachelor's graduates who are also recipients of the President's Award. Jody Lynn Bailey, Bachelor of Science, Business Administration, Healthcare Management, summa cum laude. Dana Michelle Brenzel, Bachelor of Science in Accounting, magna cum laude. She's president? Oh, I already said that. Duh. Cheryl Cameron, Bachelor of Science, Business Administration, Supply Chain Management, magna cum laude. Hey, James. I'm a James also. Thanks for all your help. <laughs> James W. Couch, Bachelor of Science and Justice of Public Safety Administration, summa cum laude. Scott Hannon, Bachelor of Science and Business Administration, Marketing Summa Cum Laude.
<laughs> Jennifer Harp Smith, Bachelor of Science in Accounting, magna cum laude. Rachel H. Hendricks, Bachelor of Science, Business Administration, Healthcare Management, summa cum laude. Kimberly Ann Howard, Bachelor of Science in Accounting, summa cum laude. Do I roll that arm? Sure. <laughs> Angelina G. La Rosa, Bachelor of Science in Interdisciplinary Business Studies, Hospitality Management and Marketing, summa cum laude. Meliza Johanna Leone, Bachelor of Science in Information Technology, summa cum laude. Betsy Lowe, Bachelor of Science, Business Administration, Management, Conflict Management Certificate, summa cum laude. Sharice A. Mazden Yarbrough, Bachelor of Science in Accounting, summa cum laude. <laughs> Rulisha Deshawn McKinney, Bachelor of Science in Human Resource Leadership, magna cum laude. Joseph Clint Nixon, Bachelor of Science and in Information Technology, summa cum laude. And I told Joe I wouldn't read this, but this is Joe's third degree from Sullivan University. <laughs> Chrissy Norton, Bachelor of Science in Nursing, summa cum laude. Richard Pangburn, Bachelor of Science in Information Technology, summa cum laude. Sarah Grace Patterson, Bachelor of Science in Information Technology, summa cum laude. Eric Rowe, Bachelor of Science in Information Technology, summa cum laude. Michael T. Schmidt, Bachelor of Science in Nursing, summa cum laude. Jason Mark Stork, Bachelor of Science. Summa cum laude. Dominique Zaki Topa, Bachelor of Science in Information Technology, summa cum laude. <laughs> Aubrey Elizabeth Walker, Bachelor of Science in Hospitality Management, summa cum laude. Burl E. Watkins, Bachelor of Science in Information Technology, summa cum laude. Taylor DeVal Woodcock, Bachelor of Science in Human Resource Leadership, summa cum laude. Bethany Marie Woods, Bachelor of Science in Accounting, summa cum laude. Okay. 
Who's the second one? Now, ladies and gentlemen, our master's degree graduates. Aliza Algozino, Master of Science and Physician Assistant. Marwa Al Hajaj, Master of Business Administration. Healthcare Management, Magna Cum Laude. Tamina Ali Hyder, Master of Science and Physician Assistant. Crystal Allen, Master of Science and Human Resource Leadership. Allison Nicole Ashcraft, Master of Science in Management. And not to leave Allison out, this is Allison's third degree from Sullivan University. <laughs> Byron L. Banks, Master of Science in Human Resource Leadership, cum laude. Danae Bartlett, Master of Science in Management, Strategic Human Capital Management, cum laude. <laughs> Melissa Lee Bottoms, Master of Business Administration, Accounting, cum laude. Lisa M. Brennan, Master of Business Administration, Magna Cum Laude. Patrice Elaine Brockington, Master of Science in Cybersecurity, Cum Laude. Angela Dawn Calbert, Master of Business Administration, Magna Cum Laude. Kishore Kumar Chikoti, Master of Business Administration. Michaela E. Dale, Master of Business Administration, Strategic Human Capital Management, cum laude. Clifford Frederick, Master of Business Administration, Accounting, cum laude. Thomas Gathright, Master of Science and Physician Assistant. Danielle Marie Gleason, Master of Science in Management, cum laude. Danielle is a chef instructor at the NCHS Sullivan University, Louisville. And some of you may know her, right? <laughs> Meredith Ellen Hall, Master of Science in Physician Assistant. The 
Nathan Hetty, Master of Science and Physician Assistant. Philip Bradley Horton, Master of Business Administration and Master of Science in Managing Information Technology, cum laude. Samir Hosdich, Master of Business Administration, Accounting Magna Cum Laude. Cortez Antonio Ivory, Master of Science and Human Resource Leadership, Cum Laude. Paula N. Johnson, Master of Business Administration, Magna Cum Laude. Renee S. Jumper, Master of Science in Management, Conflict Management, Cum Laude. Angela K. Killian, Master of Business Administration, Cum Laude. Balaji Kota, Master of Science in Managing Information Technology, Cum Laude. Anita Denise Lewis, Master of Science in Cybersecurity, Cum Laude. And sorry, folks, this is Anita's fourth degree from Sullivan. You three, you three timers, Lewis. And Annie Wei Chi Lee. Annie Wei Chi Lee, Master of Science and Physician Assistant. Jessica Lee Loveday, Master of Science in Physician Assistant. Felicia Noctula Mabuza, Master of Science in Managing Information Technology, Cum Laude. Seth Morales Martinez, Master of Science in Managing Information Technology, Magna Cum Laude. <laughs> Caitlin Joy McGill, Master of Public Management. Caitlin is Associate Registrar at Sullivan College of Technology and Design, part of the Sullivan University system. Seneca C. McGowan, Master of Science and Physician Assistant. John Munyane, Master of Science in Cybersecurity. John is a data analyst for the Sullivan University system. James Michael Overstreet, Master of Business Administration and Master of Science in Managing Information Technology, Magna Cum Laude. <laughs> Clifford L. Posey, Master of Business Administration, Accounting, Cum Laude. Bailey Breeze Rustler, Master of Science and Physician Assistant. Ash. 
Anvesh Vejanla, Master of Science in Managing Information Technology, Cum Laude. John Seitz Sparling, Master of Business Administration, Cum Laude. I have an old man at home that he wants. He's wanted it for a year. Is it really? Yeah. Not including the books. Elizabeth May Stogner, Master of Business Administration, Magna Cum Laude. Elizabeth is Career Services Employer Relations Specialist at Sullivan University, Louisville. And Elizabeth just informed me that she tied because this is her fourth degree at Sullivan. <laughs> Silvita M. Warner, Master of Business Administration, Magna Cum Laude. Ebony Whitfield, Master of Business Administration, Magna Cum Laude. Now, ladies and gentlemen, our master's degree graduates who are also recipient of the President's Award. Jennifer Michelle Aberl, Master of Science and Human Resource Leadership, Summa Cum Laude. And nobody knows her. Congratulations. Ashley M. Austin, Master of Science in Management, Summa Cum Laude. Ashley is Director of Admissions at Sullivan College of Technology and Design. Katie Elizabeth Ballard, Master of Science in Management, Summa Cum Laude. Katie is the Assistant Registrar and the VA Certifying Official at Sullivan University Lexington Campus. Kimberly Ann Ballantyne, Master of Business Administration, Conflict Management, Summa Cum Laude. Did I say President's Cup? Did I already announce the President's Cup? Okay. Jessica Lynn Biddle, Master of Business Administration, Accounting, Summa Cum Laude. Marma Kumar J. Brambat, Master of Business Administration, Magna Cum Laude. <laughs> Kyle Matthew Byrne, Master of Science in Managing Information Technology, Magna Cum Laude. Kyle is an instructor at Sullivan University Louisville campus. Samuel J. Claxton, Master of Science in Managing Information Technology, Summa Cum Laude. <laughs> Jeffrey Scott Cornett, Master of Science in Managing Information Technology, Summa Cum Laude. Nola Danielle Couch, Master of Business Administration, Accounting, Summa Cum Laude. Matthew Chase Irwin, Master of Business Administration, Summa Cum Laude. Jesse T. Hampton, Master of Science and Management, Summa Cum Laude. Scott Hendricks, Master of Business Administration, Summa Cum Laude. Scott is a re-entry and continuing education admissions officer at Sullivan University Louisville campus. I don't know. 
Did I announce it? Dallas Henson, Master of Business Administration, Hospitality Management, magna cum laude. Calden Jebber, Master of Business Administration, magna cum laude. <laughs> Michael King Johnson, Master of Science and Management, summa cum laude. Michael is the Vice President of Marketing for the Sullivan University System. Bradley Carter Morganette, Master of Business Administration and Master of Science in Managing Information Technology, magna cum laude. And this is Bradley's fourth degree. Motley. Brenton Michael Motley, Master of Science in Management, summa cum laude. Venkata Ramana Reddy Narapur Reddy, Master of Science in Managing Information Technology, summa cum laude. Congratulations, Joey. Joseph C. Nosowitz, Master of Business Administration, summa cum laude. Joey is an admissions officer at Sullivan University Louisville campus. Another fourth degree, Priscilla Ann Martin Owens, Master of Science in Management, summa cum laude. Naveen Prabhu Panchmal, Master of Science in Managing Information Technology, summa cum laude. Naga Fanindra Pulapati, Master of Science in Managing Information Technology, magna cum laude. Joe Smith, right? Alberto. Jonathan Alberto Ramirez, Master of Business Administration, Strategic Human Capital Management, magna cum laude. Jaquella J. Red, Master of Business Administration, magna cum laude. Hi, Regina. Hi. Regina Gail Ricks, Master of Science and Human Resource Leadership, summa cum laude. Christy Lynn Robinson, Master of Business Administration, Accounting, summa cum laude. Sravana Tulasi Sanakaila, Master of Science and Managing Information Technology, magna cum laude. Srinivasa Reddy Sati, Master of Science in Managing Information Technology, summa cum laude. Dalitra L. Shabazz, Master of Science in Human Resource Leadership, summa cum laude. Jeffrey Thomas Smith, Jr., Master of Business Administration, Accounting, summa cum laude. Is it another Smith? No. Is it Snow? Snow deal. Snow deal. 
Bruce David Snow Deal, Master of Business Administration, Summa Cum Laude. Tashina D. Starks, Master of Science in Management, Summa Cum Laude. Laura Elizabeth Stone, Master of Science in Management, Summa Cum Laude. Laura is the Reentry and Continuing Education Admissions Officer at Sullivan University Lexington Campus. How dare you have an easy last name? <laughs> Darren S. Thompson, Master of Public Management, Summa Cum Laude. Heather Michelle Warren, Master of Science and Human Resource Leadership, Summa Cum Laude. Middle name, Jaron Jaron. Jonathan Jaron Wheat, Master of Business Administration, Healthcare Management, Summa Cum Laude. Veronica Ann Wilhite, Master of Science and Human Resource Leadership, Summa Cum Laude. <laughs> Deneen Laird Woods, Master of Science and Management, Summa Cum Laude. And now, ladies and gentlemen, how about a big round of applause for all of the graduates? We have a few more ceremonial things to do. We actually have to officially confer these honors to everybody. So for those of you who received either a certificate or a diploma today, certificate or diploma, will you rise, please? You know who you are, there you are, okay. Certificate or diploma. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Commonwealth of Kentucky, the Board of Directors of Sullivan University hereby award these certificates and diplomas with all the rights, privileges, and prerogatives therein to pertaining. Congratulations. For those receiving associate degrees, please rise. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Kentucky Council on Post-Secondary Education and the Board of Directors of Sullivan University, I hereby confer upon you these Associate of Science degrees with all the rights, privileges, and prerogatives thereunto pertaining. Congratulations. <clears throat> For those receiving Bachelor of Science degrees today, please rise. By virtue of the, by, there will be time to shout. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Kentucky Council on Post-Secondary Education and the Board of Directors of Sullivan University, I hereby confer upon you these Bachelor of Science degrees with all the rights, privileges, and prerogatives thereunto pertaining. Congratulations. <laughs> For those receiving master's degrees, please rise.
By virtue of the authority of SME by the Kentucky Council on Post-Secondary Education, the Board of Directors of Sullivan University, I hereby confer upon you these master's degrees with all the rights, privileges, and prerogatives thereunto pertaining. Congratulations. Would all of you please stand? You may now take your tassels and move them to the other side, showing you're a graduate. Now I want you to turn around and face the audience. Turn around and face. I want you to thank everybody in the audience. You may turn back around. We want to note that we have a separate graduation for our Doctor of Pharmacy graduates. We have over 300 Doctor of Pharmacy students in school right now, and they graduate once a year in June, and we have a separate graduation for them separate from this. So there's another graduation yet to come. Uh, this is the end of our ceremony. I'd like to, again, say how glad I am to be alive and here today to be a part of this. The other alternative isn't very good. I'd like to invite Dr. Renee Rush Yarmouth to come to the podium for our benediction. I'd like to ask all of you to stand and to remain standing until all graduates have exited the auditorium. All loving God, we humbly come before you today at a benchmark in the lives of these graduates. As we look at these graduates, we give praise for the diligent study and preparation that has allowed them to stand here today. Many of them have toiled and struggled to receive the honor, and for this, we give thanks to you for your guidance and strength. We also give thanks for the faculty and staff, as they too have provided an immeasurable service. Now, as these graduates leave this place today, please, Show them your path and your blessing. May the education that they have received provide the foundation for a successful and joy-filled life. Please continue to encourage them, excite them, and challenge them both intellectually and spiritually. Please be with us as we continue to educate students to the highest standard so more may come to know the hope and joy that this graduating class does now. In your precious name we pray, amen. <laughs>